kind of um, cool growing the initial message to you guys afterwards. Um, you know, saw some better, particularly offensively in the second half. Um, just you know, not quite being an apple. How do you kind of address that at the beginning? Basically, we gotta we jump out on them early, even though we had the opportunities at the rim. It's just the effectiveness of collective group. And then I say we gotta just keep on playing the whole game, the whole forty minutes, and they got some stuff to do down the road that doesn't play the part. Yeah. Well, what, what did you take off this when that second half? You know, she was 57 percent. Um, so like you found better rhythm in that second half to kind of um, you know, punch back uh, when they were out there. So, well, how do you kind of evaluate that half offensively? Um, um, I wouldn't say we did better in second half. We just capitalized on our opportunities. The whole game was good, so I felt like we just missed some opportunities at the end of the day. That's probably the biggest thing, and the rebounding. Yeah, that's that's definitely it. Just the, the missed opportunities and the missed rebounding or just being out-rebounded, something we got to clean up and go on to, for sure. Yeah, we just missed some key blockouts around that eight-minute mark. Played a big part in the game. And that's where you should just, just, you know, not blocking out enough. To those offensive rebounds they got, it's one of those second chance baskets. Just you know, get better at that. Yeah, we've been working on it in practice. It's just we didn't work out this time. We did sometimes. We got to do it all the time. Yeah, and this is the consistent, the consistent effort and the consistency of playing hard. I think that's where once we get that, I think we're gonna be really tough, really tough to beat. So, yeah. Yeah. How do you feel you're kind of adjusting to being that um, sort of go-to guy offensively? You know, you're at 21 today. Do you feel like you're maybe um, adjusting more to being a little bit more aggressive and coming at that guy? Like, how do you feel you're kind of assuming that role so far before the game? Um, to be honest, I tried that the first two games. It didn't work out to me, work out for me. So I felt like I just let the game come towards me, my teammates, find me. And then I just capitalized on my opportunities. And anybody can go off any night because we got a lot of key players on the team. So I feel like I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing so far, especially these last two games, and we're going to end up coming out successful. And we really didn't have a um, good game overall, but at least we can see that we're doing some positive things on the offensive end, and we just got to clean up really just our blockouts on the defensive end, and we'll be fine. Yeah, I was going to say, battled all game, and you came back, tied it up a couple times. What are some key, like you said, positive things that you can take forward? Um, honestly, well, I was gonna say Nick Kern. Yeah, Nick Kern. He's he's one of our dogs. He just loves playing defense, and mm -hmm. yeah, he's he's one of our outliers. I would say, just yeah. yeah. Even though the game when the bucket was scored on him, he he's gonna come back even stronger than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're really not worried about it. Just like as a group, we know what we did wrong and mm -hmm. what we should have done to, just to win the game. Period. And Come I feel like they came very prepared this time. But honestly, the key things we did was move the ball, get to the second side, paint touches, inside out threes, and I say we crashed the offensive board a little bit. Could be but better. It definitely could be better on both ends. But yeah, that's probably it. I was going to ask you guys, too, your perspective on, on Jaden. You saw some good things offensively from him through the last two games. Like, you feel like he could be a, a good uh, sort of secondary scorer for you guys as well on the front line spot? Anybody. I feel like anybody. Because I don't think I'm the main scorer either. Because anybody can do it. And Jay Nunn, he's just doing, you see the pull up. That's been that's been that's insane him. lately. <laughs> that's him. Very. And he uh, showed us when we went down to Tennessee. And mm -hmm. he was doing it there. So I feel like he's getting very comfortable. And everybody, everybody's on the same team. So everybody's on a collective group. We're getting better. You know, staying connected the whole game. We're getting a lot better with that. Chris, we talked about how the offensive rebound for um, overall. How do you evaluate it? Like, how do you guys come off you know, three really strong one defensive performances at the start of the year? Um, today, you know, John Batista, uh, Batista, and Smith kind of got going. How do, how do you kind of evaluate uh, the performance on that end today mm. I mean, I think we did a pretty good job guarding those guys. Yeah. Really, they just made some tough shots. Yeah. Like, 
is, for instance, the game winner. That was a tough shot. He had both hands in his face. He still made a shot. So I just feel as though we we take away some of those cleaner looks that they did get. If we take away some of them, the game won't go the way it did. Especially when we was, we played good defense three times in a row. They got the rebound every time. Mm -hmm. That could have been the swing of the game. And then they scored on the out of 22, so that kind of hurt us too. So just us staying together. And we stayed together the whole game, and we found a way to get back in position like we did. But we're going to finish it next time. Next time sure. we'll come away with it. Yeah. We'll come away with the win next time. Yeah. Um, we got practice Monday. So we just gonna <laughs> yeah, we got right yeah, we gonna do practice there. Monday and we could go from there. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, good thing you said that. I don't yeah. Yeah, that was, I'm I'm glad you did say that from. That was that was good. We lost. I don't know, I've been for a while. I'm trying to think if we lost two home games back to back like that before. Uh, this, I don't know. This is like my second year. Yeah. yeah. I never had this happen to me. <laughs> but as a group, I feel I'm happy just because, not on my end, just like how we stay together the 44, 40 minutes, and uh, we've been very coachable in the huddles, and we stay connected. That's probably the biggest thing. And then the only thing we really got to do is clean up the rebounder, and then early in the game we got to emphasize getting to the plane like we did and finishing above the rim, and we'll be fine the rest of the season. It's a big it's a big opportunity for us yeah. just to show how good we really are. I mean, today and the last time we played at home we had a couple of hiccups, but I feel as though for the most part as a team we're much much, much better than what we're performing as. And I just feel as though once we get, once we gel even more as a team, because we are, our chemistry is already through it's the roof. Better. It's unmatchable, I feel as though. But once we get even more connected and we gel even more, I feel as though nobody in the country is going to be able to beat us. And I strongly feel like that, for real. So we're just going to just keep chipping away. Anything else for the players? Appreciate it, sir. Appreciate it.